This is the Asus Chromebook Detachable CL3, also known as the CM3. It's a Chromebook that can double as a tablet, and now that I've been using it for almost six months, I'm gonna take you through all you need to know about it to consider if it's the right Chromebook for you. If you saw my original unboxing YouTube short or TikTok, you'll know I paid just 130 pounds for this new, that's about 160 US dollars. I'll link to that video and any others I mention in the video description of this one. It's essentially a 10.5 inch tablet screen with a detachable keyboard. It comes with a garage USI stylus, has 128 gig of storage, 4 gig of RAM, and it's running the MediaTek MT8183 processor. The same one you'll find in the Acer Spin and the Acer 314 Chromebooks that I've reviewed before, and that means it's running 32-bit Chrome OS, and we'll see updates through to the AUE date of June 2028. In the hand, this Chromebook feels solid and well put together, the cover material gives it a nice feel, and with all the parts attached, it weighs about 2.03 pounds, or about 921 grams. Just the tablet portion alone is 509 grams so this is the lightest Chromebook I've used beating my current favorite in that department being the Acer Spin 311 which is about 0.33 pounds or 151 grams heavier. There's four main parts to this detachable Chromebook. The back cover comes off easily. It's held on by magnets, so just pulls itself into place and you can angle the bottom half to become a stand. You can also do this vertically if you want to use the tablet in portrait mode. The keyboard also connects itself easily via the magnetic connections and the stylus lives in the top long edge. This setup works really well on a desk, but it's not ideal for use on your lap. As you may expect, ports are pretty minimal, just a volume rocker and a power button over on the left-hand side, and then on the right, you've got the USB-C port, as well as one important feature, a headset jack. You could use a USB-C hub or dock like I've shown on the channel in my other videos if you need that extra connectivity, but there is a key issue there that we'll cover later on. Performance is decent enough for normal use with multiple tabs and a bit of gaming here and there using an Android emulator app, for example, isn't going to stretch it. And as you'll have seen in my other videos for Chromebooks with the MT8183 processor, Android games like Roblox will run fine too. Battery life is another strong point, as I expected. I easily get well into a second day of normal use before I think about the need to charge. Sometimes longer if use is more intermittent and the screen brightness is kept a bit lower. I do like the Asus Powerbrick design too. And speaking of the screen, that really is one of the highlights of this Chromebook for me. Having a full HD bright screen on a Chromebook of this size is excellent. It's great for media consumption, viewing angles are decent, and it can go nice and bright, as I mentioned. Asus claim it's about 320 nits. The bezels are certainly there, but do help for holding it when it's in tablet mode. And having the Garage USI pen is also a great addition to always have available to use, and testing of it so far, I found it pretty responsive. When connecting via a dock or hub, you won't get 1080 output out of the Chromebook and that's the limitation of the Chromebook itself not the dock or hub. I either had two monitors running mirrored at 1440 by 900 which isn't very practical or the Chromebook display at 1080p plus one of the monitors at 1440 by 900 which is more workable but not ideal. Worth keeping it in mind. The keyboard is okay, it's usable, but you won't want to be spending hours at a time at it. It is, as I understand, larger and an improvement on the keyboard featured on the original Lenovo Duet, so keep that in mind if you're comparing them. My spacebar also seems to have developed a bit of a squeak if I hit it right on the far edge. The trackpad is a good size considering the overall device size and feels pretty firm. The speakers are on the top edge, so well positioned when in landscape mode or regular tablet mode. They get loud enough but lack any real depth. Here's an outro from one of my other videos. A lot of Chromebook for not much cash. Do like and sub for the full review of this. The Asus Flip CM3 12 inch Chromebook. It's nice to benefit from two cameras on this Chromebook, the better being the rear 8 megapixel camera. Here are some shots and video from it. It allows for full HD recording at 1080p. You've then got the 1.9 megapixel front webcam, which isn't up to much and allows for 720p recording. When it comes to alternatives to this Chromebook, it really depends if you're specifically looking for a detachable Chromebook, like the Lenovo Duet, or if you'd consider a convertible model. Personally, I'm not sure I'm ready to give up the Asus Spin 311 as my travel go-to, and you should also keep in mind that Asus offer a convertible version of this CM3, so a fully convertible 12-inch Chromebook. Check out either of those in these next two videos.